Hey, it's Marty the Pasta Guy. Today I'm going to show you how to beef up your spaghetti with marinara without using beef. I'm not talking about using one of those plant-based meat products, but an egg. And you may say, wow, that sounds weird with spaghetti and egg. That doesn't sound right. Sounds kind of wrong. Oh no, it is so not wrong and it is so right. And you're going to love it so much that if loving it is wrong, you don't want to be right. We're going to need sauce. If you haven't checked out my marinara recipe yet, then please do. It's a simple quick sauce that uses a secret ingredient that gets it right every time. But anyway, I'm gonna use some capellini, some angel hair pasta, and uh, we're going to saute with some, some extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper and red pepper flakes. We're gonna saute some mushrooms and spinach, and then we're going to fry an egg and put it on top. Oh yeah, you got your protein, your vegetables, and your carbs. It's a complete meal, and it's really excellent. Start to heat up your pasta water and sauce. I'm making this for one person today, so you'll have to adjust your amounts, but I'm using about a fourth of a cup of olive oil. To be honest, I prefer this with red chard, but that takes longer and it's a stronger taste, so I'm using spinach today because it ends up looking prettier and it's more universal. When the mushrooms are partially cooked, add the greens. Once they start breaking down, then add your salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. I'm probably using about a fourth of a teaspoon of each. Now lower the heat and make room for your egg or eggs. Time to salt our boiling pasta water and keep stirring the sauce. When the skillet ingredients are pretty much done, we'll cook our pasta. I always break my yolks to make sure nothing is runny. I'm not using artisan pasta, so I'm not going to finish cooking it in the sauce. I have to ladle on a lot of sauce though because it'll soak it up and I want this to be a very wet dish. The spinach and mushrooms go around the edge of the bowl, which is very nice looking. The egg goes in the middle. Add a little more sauce on top of the egg. High quality Romano cheese, please. I've had so many requests from friends and family for this. It's a complete meal. It's filling is delicious. There's nothing not to like about it. If you do make it, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Bye.